this is a photograph. Uh, this was taken in our uh, kind of a booking area just outside of our temporary holding cells at our office. Uh, it's just an overall photograph of Mr. Guy. Mr. Guy appeared on November the 29th, 2016. Yes, sir. Next photo. Uh, this is just a uh, little bit closer up uh, angle of his face and upper torso. And did you have the occasion to observe uh, the physical appearance of Mr. Guy with regard to any injuries that are apparent on his body? Yes, sir. In, in this photograph, uh, are there any injuries depicted? Yes, sir. There was some bruising um, that was noted on his the upper portion of his right arm. You can kind of see it just underneath the, uh, the sleeve of the shirt. Is that present uh, now, sir? Yes, sir. Next photo? Uh, this is a photograph of his, just kind of his lower the portion of his body. In, in, in this photo, are there any apparent uh, injuries obvious to you? Yes, sir. There's, uh, on his, what would be, I guess it's his right thumb, uh, there's an injury that's noted. Uh, also on it, it's kind of hard. Can you zoom in just a little bit? Um, yes, sir. His right thumb, and then there's also an injury to his left hand. Uh, you can kind of see it uh, on the inside of the thumb nearest the, uh, the second finger. Next photo. This is a photograph that was taken, uh, kind of a top view uh, of his hands. And are there any injuries apparent to you uh, on his hands? Yes, sir. Again, you can see the uh, that slice to the inside uh, of his left thumb. Um, there are some scratches, uh, I believe, to both hands, um, and up above the wrist on the right side. Uh, again, this is just a, kind of a, 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 a wider view of that previous photograph. Next photo. Uh, this is a close-up photograph of his, uh, the injury to the right, I'm sorry, the left thumb. Um, and you can see that at this point, um, it looks like it's beginning the healing process, uh, starting to scab up. Next photo. This is a photograph of uh, just the underside on the palm side of his hands. Again, you can see the, there's a slice on, the, uh, on his right hand, uh, also several scratches uh, on the both palms. Next photo. This is just a, another photograph of that same area. Um, and again, you can see the several slice marks and cuts on his hands uh, and fingertips. This is a just a, a zoomed in photograph of the injury to his uh, to his palm. This is a uh, a zoomed in photograph of a what looks like a, a cut or slice to his um, to the tip of his finger or middle of his finger. So. This is a photograph, uh, kind of a close up photograph of that bruising that that I spoke of earlier uh, on his right arm. And there's also a scratch at the uh, near the crease of the elbow. Okay. Again, this is that same arm, uh, same injury, just a, a closer view of it. Uh, this is an overall view of his backside. Um, this is a uh, more focused view, kind of capturing the, the upper portion of his torso. Or the the back. Uh, can you zoom in a little bit towards the right? I'm having trouble seeing on the screen. Yes, there's uh, what appears to be scratches on the back of his right elbow, and uh, again that bruising that we saw on the front view of the upper arm, it's a little more apparent uh, here in this photograph from the backside. When you say bruising, is that one arm or both? Uh, it appears to be both arms. Uh, this is a photograph of uh, kind of the lower portion of his body, again, from the backside. 
This is a photograph uh, of the front of his legs. Uh, we had noticed that there were some scratches and bruising on the upper portion of his legs that were initially covered by his shorts. Uh, we had him raise his shorts up so that we could photograph that, those injuries. And this is a, uh, a closer view of a scratch on his, the uh, top, uh, top side of his left leg. This is a photograph of uh, a back profile uh, with his shirt removed. This is a uh, photograph that kind of focused in on the upper right uh, portion of his back. Uh, and as you can kind of see in the photograph, there appears to be some bruising, uh, maybe some red marks uh, in this photograph. This is a uh, side profile of Mr. Guy. Um, this depicts his right side. Yes, sir. Uh, again, you can see the bruising uh, on the upper portion of the arm above the elbow and what appears to be some kind of abrasion or, or brush burn type injury. And this is just an, another photograph of that same profile. This is a uh, more focused, uh, zoomed in uh, photograph of that same arm and those same injuries. And this is a, uh, a profile, a side profile uh, of his left side of his body. Lieutenant Henning, uh, after Mr. Guy was taken into custody, um, did the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Department take possession of his vehicle? Yes, sir, we did. And was his vehicle parked at the location where he was taken into custody? Yes, sir, it was. And what did you do with his vehicle um, after it was impounded? Uh, once the vehicle was, was impounded in our, uh, our crime scene garage, uh, we obtained a search warrant for that vehicle. And did you ultimately conduct a search of the interior of the vehicle? Yes, sir. Uh, myself, um, our crime scene personnel, as well as uh, the detectives from Knox County. And was that uh, documented uh, through the use of photography? Yes, sir. We're going to see more pictures when we come back uh, regarding the defendant. And I just stuttered because there are more pictures coming up. We'll be right back after this break.